Hi, my name is Victor Bart. Welcome to Retro Machines. In the last video, we discussed for 40 BX chipsets and which boards you should get. But we also need video cards for this kind of generation model board. So this video will be a guide about what kind of video cards you should buy for around Pentium 2, Pentium 3 system. So nothing for Pentium 4 because no one cares about Pentium 4. Or at least I don't care about Pentium 4 and I will never do a build with Pentium 4. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you want your circuit board design realized and printed, you should check out PCBWay. Starting prices as low as $5 for a one or two layer design with worldwide shipping. Place your order now, links in the description. For me personally, I have three brands that I like for older HP cards. First of all is 3DFX and we don't gonna talk about 3DFX in this video because I can make a separate video with discussing all the 3DFX cards and for which generation. So I will show you this of course, Fudu 2 SLI, because every card that I discuss can be perfectly combined with a Fudu 2 SLI setup and that would make it I think perfect that you have the Clyde support and the 3DFX support and a really good video card. So yeah, Fudu 2 SLI together with any of those cards is just... And the other two brands that I really like for HP cards is Nvidia and of course Matrox. So this video will focus on Nvidia and Matrox what I like about the cards and some advice for what kind of generation the card is good for. The first card that I will show you is not Nvidia and not Matrox, it's an Intel card. Yes, Intel made HP cards and the funny thing is nowadays they also do PCIe video cards again. And yeah, they perform uh, yeah, sometimes good, sometimes worse, but this Intel E740. Uh, I don't have the original one from Intel. This is like the super cheap, uh, crappy brand thing from Daytona. Intel made this video card probably just to show the HCP bus and the future of it. And look, we have a card. So this is one of the first HP cards. It has 8 megabyte of memory, VGA and for the rest it's completely crap. Don't ever use it or maybe if you use it, if you use a Pentium 2 233 to Pentium 2 333, it will be okay together with a Fudu 1 or a Fudu 2. It works, but there are better options than this. But I still wanted to talk about the Intel. E740. The next card that I don't recommend, yeah I first start with the don't recommend and then it will get fun. That is the Matrox G100 4 megabyte. It's the same story as the Intel 740. It's the first card, it's slow, it is also good for Pentium 2, 233 to 333 or a Celeron, an older Celeron but there are better cards than this. Now an awesome uh, card, but there are still better options. <laughs> this is a Matrix G200 with 8 megabyte of memory, but also a secondary 8 megabyte memory module. So this is now 60 megabyte, and this is a really good card with a really good VGA output, like almost all Matrox video cards. For a uh, workstation built back in the days this was a really good card to go with. It's not a high performer but also together with the Fudu 2 it works really great. So this card is good first Pentium 2 233 to let's say Pentium 2 450. There it will uh, be really good and also with a high uh, amount of memory, the higher resolutions VGA also works great and it also has like a strange uh, port that Matrox has a lot and I never found any cable that fit in here. <laughs> now a really recommended card, this is a Matrox G400 with 32 megabytes of memory and it uh, supports dual monitor. 
and this is absolute a great card and I think it's underrated when this came on the market it was just like in the high level of performance Matrix really did a great job with this card and I think it's the same speed as the Nvidia Riva TNT2 so yeah back in the days this was an absolute good performing card and I also bought it back in the days for my Pentium 3 450 there's a better version of this one and that is the Matrox G400 Max so there's also 32 megabytes of memory it's higher clocked maybe a bit higher memory speed actively cooled if you can find this go for it but if you only can find this it's perfectly fine and to be honest the passively cooled cards has have a longer lifespan than uh, with a fan that can uh, worn out and I found several of these so they are not too rare and yeah go for it but if you can't find this for an affordable price I will give you now a secret which card you can get and that is a Matrox G450 because that card has DDR1 memory it was focused on office PCs but it performs the same as a G400 and you have also the Matrox G550 which is a little bit faster version of the G450 and they are still pretty cheap and if you use uh, these cards for systems like Pentium 2 300 to Pentium 3 600 it is a perfect match and even if you have a higher speed system and put a video card like this in it still performs well of course you don't get the highest performing video card for the CPU but if you play like a bit older games it performs really well and my biggest advice is if your video card is not fast enough together with the CPU for the game you are playing you have today a way better solution than back in the days you don't need to overclock or put the maximum speed out of the system just get a newer generation system get, get that ugly Pentium 4 system with an, an GeForce 4 or a fast AT video card then your game that now doesn't perform so well in the Pentium 3 system will fly or get a core to duo with with something like like this this is a uh, 6800 GTS don't focus too much on getting the most speeds out of the video cards if you can just get another system that performs way better now let's get into the Nvidia video cards and the first one that uh, really matters is this one this is the Diamond Viper V550 with a Riva TNT1 chip and 16 megabyte of memory back in the days I started my Pentium 3 with this card but the 8 megabyte version because I was a bit on a budget so I bought like a fast CPU fast motherboard and a an, an lower end video card so uh, then I could save up money again and bought a Matrix G400 in like 6 months so that was for me my upgrade path to first get a slower video card and then a faster video card but this card really performs well in games has good uh, driver support also the Matrix video cards had good driver support VGA and even TV out but this was the first TNT what came after that was the bit higher clocked Riva TNT2 and this is a Viper v 770 so if I would make a build I would choose a TNT2 over the TNT1 because basically it's a higher clocked version but there's even a better version of it <laughs> and that is the Viper V77 Ultra so this is a TT2 Ultra higher clocked faster but basically they are the same kind of video cards and 
for the uh, Teen T1 I will would recommend like a Pentium 2 300 to Pentium 3 500 that is a nice sweet spot for this card but for the TNT2 and the TNT2 Ultra I would recommend a Pentium 2 400 to Pentium 3 600 that would be yeah the perfect match for these cards and here a variation of the Riva TNT2 I don't think this is an Ultra but still active cooling 32 megabytes of memory because the Riva TNT1 has 16 but the TNT2s all have 32 this one has a VR port for 3D classes S-Video in, VDA, S-Video out and composite out so this is a nice card with a lot of extra options uh, for 3D classes but that doesn't work that well but uh, at least it's good to have, to have a high end card like this after the TNT2 Nvidia really took off with the performance because they made the Nvidia GeForce 1 and this one has SG RAM and this one has DDR1 and both have active cooling and then GeForce 1 is just a really good performing card but they are pretty hard to get these uh, ones uh, were sent by a subscriber and I s sent him an, uh, a Roland MT32 so we made a, like a little trade but for the rest I never found a uh, GeForce 1 in a build or in a dumpster or, or anywhere and I didn't look it up to buy it for a lot of money but still they are harder to get but if you can get them go for it and this is really good for like a Pentium 2 400 to Pentium 3 700 that would be a nice range for these cards so the higher uh, Pentium 3's work a little bit better of course than Pentium 2's you can get a lot of uh, fun with uh, Quake 2, Quake 3 on these cards they really perform well and those are faster than the Matrix G400. What I found that is easier to get is the GeForce 2 cards. This is an uh, Asus uh, GeForce 2, also active cooling. I think this one has 32 megabytes of memory and these are just really good cards and somewhat easier to find than the original GeForce ones. And the other GeForce uh, 2 that I have is this 3D Profit 2 GTS 64 megabyte of memory and this one also uh, has a digital output instead of only VGA so this is like a little mo more modern step so you can uh, run uh, nice LCD screens directly on it also TV out active cooling and the Hercules cards in blue just look really nice with heat sinks on the memory and a GeForce 2 like this, I would recommend go for a Pentium 3 733 to 1 gigahertz. That is for this card a really good performing CPU. And if you want to compare it with AMD's, it's simple. Just the same speed AMD's would also work for these cards. What is your favorite HP video card? That's not 3DFX, let me know in the comments. I think I will do later a video about 3DFX cards for what generation hardware you can use them. Because if I put that in this video, this video will get way too long. And the reason why I don't talk about AT cards in this video, because I don't think I have any AT card with an HP uh, slot uh, in my collection. Maybe AT Mach 64 PCI 2 megabyte, but that's not HP. And for the rest, I don't have any Radeons or other cards that uh, can fit in here. This is where I focus on, and this is my collection. And I don't really care myself about the Nvidia uh, TNT Fanta or the GeForce 2 MX cards yeah I focus on the high end myself that's why I recommend only high end cards like this if you like to support me you can support me monthly on Patreon and get access to my discord server where we can discuss all the video cards 
so we have some really big video card nerds in there so if you want extra info we can discuss it there and thanks for watching